Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I don't really know what I want this video to be. It's gonna be kind of random and all over the place, so I think I'm gonna label it as like a chit chat discussion type video. I don't know. I have a lot of things I wanna cover, but each of these things doesn't really need its own video, so we're kind of doing a little combo today. I still have my woods nails. We did have one casualty and this one is about to pop off and it hurts really bad, so I'm gonna try and just like, not tweak it by any means. I am getting my nails done later today though, so hopefully they can fix it and it won't hurt as much anymore. But as you can see here, I have a few photo card binders that you have probably, well, no, you for sure have not seen on this channel before. And that is because I decided to purchase these recently, even though I know I just did like a whole updating my photo card collection binder video series thing. And some of those binders do still exist in my collection. But if you remember, Very Very was in like this blue rubbery one and then ATs was in like a hollow rubbery one that I got from Amazon and I didn't really like how they looked. So decided to replace them and then while I was replacing them I did a couple other updates and yeah we now have four new binders that I didn't make videos on because I just didn't feel like I wanted to. First things first let's talk about these binders. Uh, a friend of mine actually found them at a local Japanese gift store in Toronto. They are called Pieces of Moment. Um, I've actually seen Etsy ads online from them before. They come up in my Instagram ads all the time. So I feel like these are able to be purchased worldwide. Um, it just so happened that this Japanese gift store had a couple of these binders in stock. So yeah, I will try and link the at least the Etsy listing down below. However, I do believe they were more expensive than what I paid for them in store. So just to keep that in mind, I think that probably is just because of like shipping costs and things like that. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm sure if you Google Pieces of Moment photo card album, you'll be able to find them as well, but I will have everything linked below. So as you can see, I did get four different colors. We have a mint one. We have like a darker purpley pinkish one. We have a complete pink one and a complete purple one. Um, yeah, I love how these look, especially on a shelf because they are just so like compact. Um, they come with a little slip cover, which also helps with dust and things like that, which is always nice. So yeah, let's just begin with what's going on here. So I'm just going to show like what I've put into these binders because I am going to be doing a full photo card collection update sometime this month, hopefully. So I'm not going to like flip through everything, but I am just going to show you what's in what binder, like what groups are in which binders. While we're doing this, there's a couple other things I want to talk about, such as downsizing, the anxiety that comes with that, the comments that come with that, um, and other things, how my collections are changing, and things like that. So we will have a little bit of a discussion time while opening these, but this was the first one that I bought. I bought one the first time I went just to see if I actually like them. I didn't want to buy all four and then like hate them. Um, in case you're wondering about the price in Canadian dollars from the store that I bought them at, they were $21.99 plus tax. So it's actually pretty cheap considering I believe the price is much more expensive on Etsy. And I think it's just because the store probably bought them as like a wholesale was able to sell them cheaper i don't really understand but they were a lot cheaper at the store so once you take the slip cover off this is what it looks like kind of looks like a photo album like from back in the day but yeah so as you can see on the front actually it says that there is 160 pockets i don't know if that means back and front as you'll see um some of these have photo actually i think i may have double sleeved all of them not really certain i'm trying to cut back on the amount of photo cards that i collect i know i talk about this quite often but um yeah i find that binders like this really do help me narrow collections down and downsize and things like that so yeah so in this binder we have my very very collection so as mentioned i did not like the binder that i got from amazon for them there's just something about that blue that I just didn't like and I didn't like how like big it was in comparison to the other smaller ones that I got later on in that series. I will link the playlist for that series up above. But yeah, so this is just my entire very, very collection. Um, and the cool thing about these actually is that as you can see, they're kind of divided into four sections. So there's the first section. Oh, sorry. There's that's two. 
so there's like a divide i don't know if you can see so there's one section the second section third section and fourth so what i did for very very at least because there's only one group in this entire binder um i did just regular album photo cards first as you can see i'm still missing some here is an empty slot and that's just going to be for growth whenever they have more albums and then here we had other album inclusions that fit into nine pocket uh sizing and then yeah that's still that and then we move into pre-order benefits now as you can see this pre-order benefit section is pretty full and moving forward i will not be collecting pre-order benefits for very very in the way that i was um if i pre-order an album and they come with them then sure fine maybe i'll keep them i ordered their newest album from k-town for you though and it didn't come with pre-order benefits so that's fine but that brings me to part of the one of the discussions that i wanted to have and that's about pre-order benefits i think moving forward pre-order benefits are going to be public enemy number one for me <laughs> I do not want to collect pre-order benefits anymore unless it is for Woods or unless I just happen to get them when I pre-order an album. And that is the only time. I am not collecting pre-order benefits at all for anyone anymore. It's just too much. There's just too many and I collect too many groups to also worry about pre-order benefits on top of regular album photo cards. So like I said, moving forward, the only person that I'm going to be collecting pre-order benefits for and trying to get all of them for would be Woods. Other than that, if I get them, I get them. If not, that's great because I don't want any more. So anyway, yes, that is that first binder there. And now we had a little discussion about pre-order benefits and how I don't love them. So that's one binder down next binder here is the darker purple that transitions into pink and here we go so um i don't know if i'm going to keep omega x in here for a long time um they just don't have that many photo cards currently so right now this is where they're going to be i also collect three members so it kind of makes things a little awkward so i think i have a plan for this collection in the future just for now to get things all organized, um, I pop them in here. So as mentioned, these are divided into four sections. So in the first section, we have Omega X. And then in the second section, where does it begin? Right here, we have One Us. And for One Us, I have downsized quite a bit. So let's get into a little discussion about downsizing. So what I decided to do for One Us, I wasn't ready to let go of everything. I still love them. I still love listening to them. Um, but as you know, I did recently decide to only purchase one version per release of an album for them. And therefore, I only want one photo card per release for them. Some albums might come with two photo cards and I'll decide if I want to keep both or not. Um, but for the most part, I just want one photo card per album. The only one that I kept two for currently was the first album just because that holds a special place in my heart. I bought it when I was in New York and I don't know, I just have like a memory with that album. It was when I decided to start standing them when I was in New York, which is so random. Um, so yeah, we just have one photo card left per version for Huanung and everything else is actually up for trade or sale on my Instagram currently. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. I also did get rid of all of the pre-order benefits that I had for him. So those are up for sale or trade as well, because I, for, for one us at least, I just don't want pre-order benefits. I don't want anything extra. Clearly, if I'm cutting down to one photo card per album, I don't want pre-order benefits, but now that we're talking about downsizing i'm going to talk about the anxiety that comes with it for me personally this might not you know be a thing for all k-pop youtubers but for me anytime i want to downsize i get very anxious about it and the main reason for that is because i share my collection so publicly online i feel like a lot of people and i'm not blaming anyone for my anxiety it's 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 me but I feel like a lot of people pay attention to my collection quite a lot, and that's fine. Um, but I find that every time I downsize something or I want to downsize, in the back of my mind, I'm like, how are people going to react? Are people going to be upset? Are people going to start asking me questions as to why? Do I not stand them anymore? This and that. And while I, you know, it, I don't get like hundreds of comments like this, I do get 
comments all the time whenever I like I haven't even announced my downsizing plans recently because I just know like I didn't want to make a video about it basically is what I'm saying and even so when I posted some items on Instagram without saying anything about downsizing I did get quite a few comments um just being like oh you're getting rid of so-and-so oh you don't listen to so-and-so anymore are you getting rid of this person why blah 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 and to be honest with you I just have been ignoring those messages because it is my collection and I will downsize what I please but at the same time the way I have to psych myself up sometimes to post items because I know I'm gonna get comments is kind of sad <laughs> it's very anxiety inducing for me so that's why I don't really announce when I'm downsizing anymore I try to keep it as like low-key as possible but I just want to, <laughs> to let you know that that is what I deal with every single time I decide I want to cut back a little bit and you know like I probably have reasons for downsizing and it's not always everybody's and I mean this in the nicest way, nicest way possible it's not always everyone's business <laughs> okay there might be a reason that I need more funds or maybe I'm trying to um, afford something else or maybe I just don't want to continue spending this much money on k-pop in the future and in order to get that into my brain mentally that means get rid of some stuff now so that you don't feel like you need to buy stuff from this group in the future i've always said that collecting does not mean standing and vice versa one does not come with the other i can listen to a group i can love their music and not collect them and still consider that standing the group in my opinion so i'm just trying to get that mentality in my brain as much as possible by you know downsizing and not committing to purchasing so many things all the time so yeah that's my comment on <laughs> downsizing and the anxiety that comes with it and just what i go through every time i decide i want to cut back so anyway <laughs> let's continue in the third section of this binder we have one me whose new album i did pre-order they are one of the groups that i actually don't want to downsize yet i absolutely love one me so much and they don't really do a lot of photo cards so as of right now i'm comfortable collecting all of them um and then towards the end of the section i just have some other random stuff and then at the very back in the fourth section we have purple kiss so yeah that's what i have in this binder and now I can show you what we have in the next one. And my AC just kicked in. I don't know if you can hear it. It's kind of far away from where I'm filming, but just in case you did. Anyways, next up, we have this binder here. This is the purple one. And here we go. So again, I divided it by the four sections. In the first section, we have Ace. And then in the second section, we have only one of and then in the third section we have kingdom and in the fourth section we have the last which is a new well not really a new development it is a uh a comeback <laughs> for me i used to collect a last um and then i just kind of stopped but i have been in love with their music once again their new comeback was amazing and I've decided to collect them. Maybe not thoroughly, I don't know, going forward. As of right now, again, the amount of photo cards, especially for Wan Jun, since he wasn't a part of the second album, the amount of photo cards for him is very small, so I don't feel like I shouldn't do it. So yeah, I'm going to continue collecting Wan Jun. And then again, if they release albums in the future and there's like, I don't know, seven cards per member, I might just do one per. Um, I'm also only gonna collect one album per release, so yeah i'm i'm happy with this and i love the way these um photo cards look together with all these different groups and in the case of all of these groups i haven't downsized anything everything is still the same and i will continue to collect in the way that i've been collecting up until now so that is the little purple binder and then last but not least we have the pink one so who is in here let's see let's see you open it right away and we have ATs. So yeah, as I mentioned, their little jelly binder that I got before, the hollow one, I don't think 
um sorry not that I don't think I definitely did not like it <laughs> so I have replaced it and don't worry those old binders did not get thrown out they did not go to waste I gave them to my roommate he actually really liked both of them so I said here you go <laughs> so anyways for ATs here we go we have a song so this binder actually only has two groups in it the first being ATs I did not downsize at all except for pre-order pre benefits I definitely got rid of a lot. There was um, maybe two eras in which I just like went crazy buying Yasang pre-order benefits and I am now realizing that I do not need them all, um, especially if they look hella similar. So I cut back a lot. Again, I'm gonna do a full photo card collection video at some point in June. So you'll see which ones I got rid of, but I cut back a lot on his pre-order benefits and moving forward once again, not collecting anymore. Again, if an album comes with one, like if I pre-order from K-Town for you and there's a K-Town for you pre-order benefit, maybe I'll keep it if I think it's cute. Otherwise, no. And then the second group here is Stray Kids, another group in which I didn't downsize because I really don't have a lot to begin with. I mean, I used to collect three members, so I downsized that a long time ago. But in terms of Changbin photo cards, I have um, all album photo cards and I'll probably continue doing that. However, with um, albums moving forward, I am only going to be collecting one, usually the limited, if there is a limited, which I've been doing for a very long time. If they ever stop the limiteds, then I'll still just only purchase one one version per release so yeah in the front half we have all of his album photo cards and then in the back half we have some pre-order benefits and non-album cards that i've collected unit cards and full member sets are at the very very back but yeah that's it for the pink binder um, but before we go, I have one more topic that I wanted to discuss. Uh, it, it's gifts and like random cards, etc. As you all know, I will never ever ever complain when you guys give me freebies or things like that. But I do want to cut back on random cards and gifts and things. While I appreciate <laughs> you guys sending me like official photo cards and things like that, I'm going to ask that if it's not on my wish list, I'm probably going to decline the free gift. Or if you happen to send a gift, um, an official card for a member that's not on my wish list, but you sent it um, as a surprise for me, which I appreciate, I just want to throw out a disclaimer there that if I do not want it in my binders or if I had no intention of collecting said card, and I do put it up for trade or sale, I don't want anybody to be offended by that. So that's why I'm asking and I'm throwing out into the universe now, if you happen to watch these videos and you trade with me, that if you're wanting to send a free gift or an official item that's not on my wish list, I do ask that you please just ask me first if it's something that I want. Um, because I just, I would hate for it to go to me and then I put it up for trade or sale when it could have gone to somebody else as a free gift. You know what I mean? Like I'm super grateful for all of the free items and things that people have sent me, especially when I start like a new collection, um, and people want to help and send photo cards. Like that's great. Like if it's on my wish list, of course I will, you know, if you want, I will, I will take it off your hands. But if it's not on my wish list, I just ask that you please either ask me first or save it for somebody that you know will appreciate it because yeah, I would just hate for it to come to me and then I don't want it. As I mentioned, I am cutting back like a lot and just adding random things kind of also induces anxiety for me. I like things to be organized and clean. And when I get items that I did not account for, it kind of like drives me crazy and then I feel bad because I don't want to get rid of them because I don't want to offend anybody but like you know what I mean so <laughs> I mean that with the with the I don't know what words I'm trying to say but I, I'm just I'm saying it in the kindest of ways possible <laughs> I appreciate you guys so much but yeah I just want your items to go to homes that will really 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 love them so I think that covers everything I want to talk about today so let me just close this up I'll bring the other binders back into frame and there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this kind of random collection update slash chit chatty discussion video. We covered a few different topics here today. I know this was kind of random, but my next video will hopefully be a storing photo cards video. So something a little bit more um, common on this channel, I guess. <laughs> Do stay tuned for that. I will also have a Victon unboxing coming soon. Hopefully um, just waiting for my albums to ship. But yeah. 
I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.